Good day, fellow Seto is back. Today, I just want to show you on how to draw and also on how to find the equation of an inverse to be specific of the straight line function. You see, let's say now if I were to give you this equation of f at x is equals to 2x plus 1, like this. Then I ask you this question to say, draw this graph. Then how are you going to draw this uh, graph? Clearly, we need what? Y-intercept and also X-intercept. Let us start with Y-intercept. Going to say Y-intercept. For Y-intercept, we let X be 0. You see? Then let us take this equation, 2X plus 1. Where we see x, we substitute 0, 2, 0, plus 1. Then our final answer, if you take your calculator, we are going to get 1, which is y. See, we know that our x is 0, then our y we got 1, just like this. Then now let us determine our x-intercept. For our x-intercept, we let y be 0, you see? Then, we take our equation 2x plus 1. Where we see y substitute 0, we have 2x plus 1, like this. Let us take this one to the other side. We are going to get minus 1, 2x. If you divide throughout by 2, for our x, you are going to get negative 1 over 2, which is negative 0, 0,5 in a decimal form. Negative 0, 0,5. We have 0 for y. Just like this. Then now, let us try to sketch this graph. It's going to look like... Let me draw first Cartesian plane. We have 1, 2, 1, 2, negative 1 and 2, sorry. Yeah, somewhere we have 1, 2, 1, 2. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 1, negative 2. Let us plot. We have 0 and negative 1, this coordinate. Let us plot this one. We have negative. 0, 0,5 somewhere here, and 0 is. Then let us join these two. Going to have something like this. See? This is graph of F. You see? Is this graph a function or not a function? You see? Is this a graph function or not a function? Then for us to determine if the graph is a function or not, we need to use a vertical line test. You see? Let me draw a vertical line test somewhere here. You see? It only touches this graph once at this point. Then it is a function. Why? Because a vertical line test touches this graph only once. You see? Then now we know that this one is a function. Uh, I want us now to, to figure out the equation of an inverse using this one. We already know that this one is, I will have enough space. We already know that this one. 2x plus 1 is a function. See? Or it can be written in this format. See? It's also fine. To make this graph an inverse, sorry, this function or this equation an inverse, we are going now to swap x and y like this. You see? Plus 1. And now this is going to be our inverse.
but we want to write this equation in such a way that y is a subject of the formula then we need to do what now we need to take one to the other side we have x minus one beside we have two y let us divide by two like this and also you can divide everything like this by two is also fine you see you are allowed to do like this then our y now is going to be x minus 1 divided by 2 which is our inverse now sum the right in this format see x minus 1 over 2 you see this one is our inverse now you see then I want us now to figure out x and also what y intercept of what of inverse in order for us to sketch the inverse on the same set. Let me erase here and also here. Okay like this that's fine okay we have a new equation now of an inverse let me write it in this format yes y is equals to x minus 1 divided by 2 let us start by determining the y-intercept of this one. I'm going to say y-intercept. For y-intercept, let x be 0. And let us take this equation, x minus 1, all over 2. Where we see x, let us substitute 0 minus 1, divided by 2. Our final answer, if we take the calculator, we are going to get negative. 1 over 2, you see, like this, our x is 0, our y is negative 0, 5, you see, like this, then now let us switch to x-intercept, we let y be 0, we write our equation of inverse, minus 1 all over 2, where we see y now, let us plug in 0. Then we have x minus 1, 2. Like this, you see? We need to solve for x. Let us cross multiply. We know underneath this 0, we have 1. Then 2 multiplied by 0, we get 0. 1 multiplied by this, it won't change. We are going to get x minus 1, like this. Then we take one to the other side. Our x is going to be 1. You see? Now we know that our x is 1. Then y is going to be 0. Like this. Then let us plot. I'm going to start with this one. 1 is to 0. Somewhere here. Then let me plot another one. This one. Uh, 0, negative. 1 over 2. Then let me join. See? Then this one is our inverse. You see? These two graphs, they are symmetrical along this line. You see? Y is equal to x. You see? Just like this, we have managed to write the equation of an inverse which is this one and we also manage to do the sketch of an inverse as well i hope you understood and i thank you